Hello everyone and welcome back to the Scrap and Stamp YouTube channel. It's Jess here and today we're going to be playing with some watercolors along with some goodies by Pink Fresh Studios. We're going to be using a stamp set called Miss Your Smile and some foiled sentiments that are all ready to go. And now for the star of the show and new to the shop, a Daniel Smith watercolor dot card featuring 66 colors. I've always wanted to try Daniel Smith paints and this is the perfect way to try out which colors you would want to add to your palette before committing to buying a whole tube of paint. Before starting my card, I had to swatch out all the colors just so I could get an idea of how they actually look in real life. And once I saw them all, I decided on lavender for our image today. So I found that the dot was good for about three panels before I ran out of paint, and I even had enough room to swatch it out. So in the future, I could say, hey, I love this color, I'm gonna add it. The panel that we're coloring today is large, so you can definitely get way more mileage out of each dot if the images are smaller. And I also love that all you need is a watercolor brush to get started. No fancy brushes needed. My technique is also simple. <laughs> And by no means am I an expert, but I do love experimenting with new color mediums. I'm going to start by applying my first layer of color with a faint amount of lavender so that I can slowly build up my color and then I can go in and add darker shaded areas afterwards. The key I'm told to watercoloring is patience and letting each layer dry in between. The Pink Fresh Studio packaging is perfect for a reference guide. There's also a coordinating stencil that you could get if you wanted to skip coloring with markers or paints. I was so excited earlier to kind of get right into the Daniel Smith color palette that I forgot to mention that I stamped the image with Versafine Onyx Black Ink, which is waterproof on Bristol Smooth cardstock. You could also use a watercolor paper as well. With texture, it kind of gives you a little bit more leeway. But I find for my uses, the Bristol Smooth holds up. And now we're gonna move on to the greenery of the image and I decided on Diopside Genuine. And here's our panel. To add a touch of shine, we're going to add some pearlescent shimmer. You might have also noticed the handy color information that's on the bottom of the dot card. For me, the most helpful piece of information was the transparency level. And now it's time to finish up the card panel. So I'm going to do some fussy cutting. Yes, the most favorite thing that I love to do. But this image is very forgiving and I love the look of adding it to some light gray cardstock. For the best results possible, I reached for my fine detailed scissors, and I'm taking my time leaving a white outline around the image. For added dimension, I'm going to reach for some 3D foam tape and add it to our image. And now it's time for my favorite part, arranging the scene. So I grabbed a few of the foiled sentiments that came in that Pink Fresh Studio ephemera pack, and I'm just playing around with which one fits best and which sentiment I wanted to use. Once I settled on the perfect sentiment, life is better knowing we are friends, I taped it in place with my tape runner, flipped it over, and added some 3D foam tape. With our placements all set, I'm just going to remove the backing paper and carefully apply it to the card front which I created from the Picket Fence Slimline die cutting system. No measurements needed. <laughs> Once I was sure everything was in its perfect place, I applied some pressure, and of course, I had to reach for some coordinating sequins. And I'm not quite finished with the added little details. I reached for my black gel pen and added some dots in the middle of the flower. And here's our card. It's not perfect, but I do love that I can continue to build up my watercoloring skills, and I'm so glad that I picked up the Daniel Smith dot card. I encourage you this week to try something new that you haven't tried before. Until next time!